Well, this is the final part of my present series on stop aging now in two minutes. If you have been following the previous 12 episodes where I have been trying to talk about this particular issue, you might be already guessing where I stand and what I am trying to say. The whole idea about this series was to talk actually about the processes of life. When we want to talk about aging, we basically talk actually about life and how long we live or can live. So in this final two minutes, which may be a bit longer two minutes than the, than the chronological two minutes, uh, I would like to sum up my ideas, my thoughts. There may be a lot of other people who can promise you very long life of hundreds of years or even eternity either in this life or in the next life or in some combinations of those things. But if you want to stop aging now, basically you have to stop living. Because life itself is the cause of aging and its limitations. And we have created this such a big monster of old age and aging. So the next step after aging being death, that's even more frightening. What we forget is, that our bodies are trying to live. There is nothing good about dying. Our bodies are trying their best to survive. There is nothing inside the body which is creating problem for me. There is nothing, genes, no geronto genes or aging genes or an enemy within which is measuring time and which is going to tell me this is the time now to die. There is no such thing. But still, the fact is, that this will happen. But the body is a friend. It's not a perfect friend because evolution did not need it to be perfect. Evolution does not work on creating perfect systems. It works on the systems which are functional for its own uses, its own need. So evolution gives us enough life processes for its own need which is continuation of generations. And the fantastic thing is that after that purpose, it does not either kill us nor does it try to maintain it too much. So having old age, having healthy aging, if we live long enough, we are going to become old. So I have been talking about that we can achieve aging or healthy aging or even stop aging by having adequate physical and mental independence in daily living. We are not obsessed about absolute health, absolute survival, because the life processes are complicated. But I have talked about basically three major pills, or actually pillars. Those are the pillars, food, physical activity, and social engagement, that how we can utilize them with pleasure, moderation, and variety. If some people promise that they will prepare single target oriented pills which can make you live forever or find a miraculous cure or amrit, this water of immortality, no problem. We will use it whenever they are ready with it. But what we can do right now, we can surely use the technologies, we can surely use the approaches, but instead of replacing pills or replacing life with pills, yeah. Pills instead of food, pills instead of physical activity, pills instead of uh, social engagement. I think the holistic approach, the way we started, holistic, which includes technology, which includes medicine, it can be called integrated uh, holistic approach. They are all required to carry on. I don't know when those miracles will happen. Either you can wait for them, carry on thinking about that, or live your life right now. I don't need to live in terror of old age. I don't need to live in fear of old age. I don't want to have angry feelings about aging, anti-aging, because the processes of life are doing their best. I can just strengthen a little bit of those three pillars. I can stop aging now by living one minute at a time for a long time to come. That is what stops aging. This is what we can talk about more. And if you want me to expand on these 12 or 13 topics I have touched on, 
I will be most happy to deal with that. You can contact me, you can call me for workshops, lectures or anything. I will love to do that. Otherwise, see you somewhere, sometime else. Happy aging. <laughs>